today we are reviewing the much anticipated Scotty Grill. This little grill is new to Canada and we were so thrilled to be able to review it. It has been on the top of our list for so, so long. As soon as we saw it, we were like, we don't know how. We don't know when, we don't know where, but we need to get our hands onto this. And that's exactly what we did, everybody. So to test this grill, we are making one of our favorite proteins, little tiny lamb loin chops. Okay, honey, kick us off with overall appearance, AKA the cuteness factor, because you guys know we always test our grills on cuteness factor because looks are important when it comes to grills. Definitely. So first things first, super cute grill. <laughs> You guys knew that was coming. Okay, but check this little grill out. I absolutely love the look and the design. Very futuristic. Yes. Very unique, unusual. It's not like a lot of portable grills we've seen. And I have to say, I do love the tiny little dog with the jetpack fuel on his back. Yes, hey, this grill looks like a dog. Remember a few episodes back, I requested a grill to look like my baby, <laughs> AKA my cat, little Ricky. This is the next best thing. I forgot about that you actually. Remember that? Yes. It's a dog grill. It's so, so adorable. Absolutely love the look of it. Love the carry case it comes in. Yes. And I love the makers of this grill have truly thought of everything right off the top. The carry case is orange in case you're in the bush and you lose it. There's my orange grill sitting right on the ground. You can't mistake it. See, now you're on my side. Color is important. Anybody who hikes canoes, you know that you need something bright because you've lost something. You've <laughs> dropped it on the ground and you can't find it anymore. Agreed. Anyone watching right now, you have to be honest. This is a five out of five when it comes to appearance. And if you don't agree with that, you're just wrong. Moving right on into efficiency. What did you think, Mad? Can we just talk for a second about the fact that this is a fold flat grill? When it comes to vehicles, fold flat seats mean the world to me. So the fact that there's an actual grill that doesn't just compact down, it actually folds flat like a piece of paper. The whole point of this is this grill is supposed to be a go anywhere kind of grill. Mm -hmm. So the fact that it does fold flat into that, that neat little carrying case that I like to call a barbecue purse, <laughs> I was obsessed with that. I actually wrote down that it's lighter than my purse. It's lighter than your purse. It's lighter than my purse. My purse has water bottles and snacks and nuts. When I was holding that, it felt like I was holding a notebook. Very, very lightweight. Now you'll notice that we kind of struggled putting it together at the beginning, but that is our bad. <laughs> we fumbled with it only because, as you guys know, we don't tend to read the instruction manuals, which we do recommend that you do before <laughs> trying to put it together, because once we did, it came together in a snap. I bet you guys feel like this too. For some reason, it pains you to open up the instructions and give a little five second read through. It ends up saving you so much time, but it's like we all just don't want to do it. You think that you're above it, you think you can figure it out, but then once you get going, you're like, okay, I've made a mistake. I'm going to back right out of here and just go ahead and read it. But once we got going, everything slot into place perfectly. You know, when you're putting something together, there's always a little bit of a rickety factor. I was super impressed that there was absolutely zero rickety factor when it came to this grill in particular. All the slots lined up perfectly and every detail was thought of right down to the tongs for the lid. Can we just talk about those tongs for the, the to multi-purpose tongs that double as a lid. I love a double duty thing. So we did run into a little bit of a hiccup. So we actually originally purchased Coleman propane fuel. We started going and you guys can see it did not work. And we were like, what kind of fuel do we need for this thing? We ended up just needing a special type of butane propane combination. And you know how we came across that answer? The barbecue family. We always say it. If you run into a barbecue hiccup and you don't know who to turn to, turn to the barbecue family. We put it out online. Calling all barbecue family members. We need your help. Hey guys. So we're trying to figure out, we're in the middle of trying, or not even the middle, we're in the beginning of doing a barbecue review and we're working on a grill that uses this adapter. We've been to four places to try and find the proper attachment for propane for this. Do you guys know what we need here? These don't work. I'm starving and I just want to get grilling and I just want to, I have to go pee and I want to go home. This is a barbecue emergency, barbecue family. Help us if you know the answer. What goes to this? They got back to us within, I'm not joking, many, many responses within like five to 10 minutes. We hit the road again and we got ourselves some butane. And our, the people who are most helpful to us were those that go camping often because they knew that this is what we needed. We were back in business. 
Once we fire this thing up, we noticed immediately how hot it got. We didn't even have to crank it up all the way and we noticed the heat radiating around this little teeny tiny grill immediately. It really is like a shrunken down gas grill. If you look inside underneath the grate of any gas grill, there are these bars that go along the bottom where the heat source comes from. This has one of those and at first we were like, is that gonna be enough? That's like a supercharged one. Oh, it's it enough. It's super hot. Also, it's dishwasher safe. You can put literally the entire grill in the dishwasher. Yeah, that <laughs> grill grate, grill lid, grill bottom, the actual bar. Like, come on. That is such a cool selling feature for me. Not that you'd be using a dishwasher if you're out canoeing or camping or whatever. Why hasn't someone made like a dishwasher that you could bring with you camping? I'd go camping probably a lot more. <laughs> One feature I did really love about this grill, on the cap you'll notice there's an area where you can put your hand that's just slightly warm. So if you wanna toast your buns, heat up some hamburger buns, heat up some hot dog buns, absolutely perfect for that. And perfect for when you are in the woods and you're looking for something to do double duty like that. Let's talk worth the price. How did you feel about the price tag on this little thing? So the Scotty Grill retails in Canada for $290 for the grill portion of the grill. The cap is sold separately for $170 Canadian. So how I take that, to me, the grill costs $460 then because I think the cap, AKA the lid, is a mandatory feature to this grill. I'm always complaining, you guys know, when a grill doesn't come with a lid, it doesn't work for me. So you know what you are? You're a cap complainer. You complain about the cap constantly. It doesn't have a lid, where's the lid? I need a lid. <laughs> you got yourself a lid. I think you could get away with the grill itself if you were just doing that hose hot and fast cooks without the lid. You didn't need like the cachet of a bun warmer. If I'm canoeing, I'm gonna need a bun warmer. Sorry. <laughs> that sentence. <laughs> It's $460 to me, okay? Because this grill has been designed to last a lifetime. I have no doubt that this grill is going to be handed down family member to family member. And we always say you get what you pay for. Sometimes in life there are areas where you can scamp and get away with it. AKA getting socks from the dollar store. No name chips. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but if you're looking for a grill that is high quality for something that you will never have to worry about again, you'll never have to buy a new grill again, this grill is it. Moving on to happiness vibe, honey, were you happy while we were grilling on this grill? I have three major things that made me super happy about this grill. It's a 3D puzzle. How can you not be happy while you're doing puzzles? Second thing, no tools required. And it looks like a dog. I wrote down very similar things, surprisingly enough. It was like grilling on a high-end toy. That's what it felt like to me. It was so small and it feels so sturdy and high-end, but you grilling on it, it feels like you're like an adult, but playing with like a kid's toy. Now the question I have for you though, honey, how did the food taste that was made on the Scotty Grill? I made lamb chops, okay? That's one of my favorite foods ever. So I absolutely loved it. However, there wasn't any wood flavor. There wasn't any charcoal flavor on this grill. But we have read online, this can double as a charcoal grill. You just don't add in the bar and actually you can charcoal grill on this thing. So if that was really important to you, it doubles as a charcoal grill. The lamb was tender, it was juicy, it tastes like lamb that we had cooked on one of our big gas grills. I think I know the answer to this, but would you use it again? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. <laughs> I think this grill is perfect for anyone who portages, camps, RVing, on the road, even someone who has a balcony. And if you change your mind about where you want to put it, it is so lightweight, you can move it. You don't have to worry about, like, can I lift it, which some other portable grills are a bit on the heavier side. What more could you want? It cooks delicious food and it's absolutely adorable. I gave it a 24 to 25. Honey, would you give it? I hate giving perfect marks. And in school, the teachers always say, we can't give perfect marks because then you never have one area to improve. I couldn't think of an area. 25 out of 25, I'm not surprised, it's you. you. You love everything, you say it's all perfect. I was thinking like I should give it 24, but then I was like, why, just to give it that? I was thoroughly impressed with it. I wanted to give it a perfect. The only reason why I brought it down to a 24 to 25 is because of the lid, and it didn't come with it, but the fact that it is, it does have to person who is looking for a grill that you can take on the road. That's why we know you're going to love our review of the Traeger Ranger. It comes with a lid. It's important, okay?